This Congress has not enhanced Social Security now going on 53 years. We need to enhance the program. We need to enhance it in a way that makes sure that everyone gets an across-the-board increase. If you'd like to see increases or enhancements to Social Security benefits, you're going to want to see this video. As in the past couple days, Representative John Larson is for the first time in 2024 calling for increases to the benefits for Social Security. Now, as you guys know, I keep you up to date on that, and there's not been a whole lot of activity regarding Social Security updates. However, we've got some new information just coming in. Now, as you know, you're going to be getting a bigger Social Security check in 2024. Those first checks should be rolling in, but they said don't get too excited, as 2024 had a disappointing Social Security cola increase uh, many seniors saying that these benefit increases they are not cutting it not keeping up with inflation not enough to live off of with the way that things are currently going with our nation's economy and take a look we heard from representative larson back in august of 2023 that the best birthday present that social security could have gotten was to increase the benefits for recipients and well he's at it again promoting the social security 2100 act and you can see one of the first main items that's in there increase and expand essential benefits for Social Security so that way the recipients that have paid into this their entire lives can get bigger checks to help them just make it with today's inflation. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage so you can see it for yourself. And also, today is January the 15th. There is a polar vortex hitting the entire United States. Today, my power went out. We had not quite snow, but a little bit of a slurry, I guess, that came down here in Houston, Texas. Uh, and let me know how the weather is in your neck of the woods, but stick around to the end for some updates on what is going on with the weather as well. And also a word from today's video sponsor that I think will help out a lot of viewers. But let's go ahead and dive right in to get you caught up on the latest with Social Security benefits. And if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything, don't forget, take a quick second, smash the like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. And to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some video footage so you can see for yourself representative larson for the first time in 2024 pushing for increases to social security benefits as we head towards a presidential election in november one thing we can be certain of is that 2024 is going to be a tumultuous year and how will your hard-earned savings fare you're already feeling the impacts of inflation at the gas pump and the grocery store. The dollar is losing buying power faster than wages are able to increase. What are you doing to protect your savings? Consider diversifying with gold from the Birch Gold Group. For decades, gold has been the choice of investors and central banks to hedge against inflation. Now you can own it in a tax-sheltered IRA with the help of the Birch Gold Group. Just visit birchgold.com RAM and Birch Gold will send you a free info kit on gold. They'll help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. And the best part? you don't have to pay a penny out of pocket. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, thousands of satisfied customers, you can trust Birchgold. Visit birchgold.com slash ram to get your free info kit. Again, visit birchgold.com slash ram and secure your savings now. We're here this afternoon uh, to discuss America's number one anti-poverty program for the elderly and the number one anti-poverty program for children is Social Security. I want to commend my colleague from the Ways and Means Committee, uh, Mr. Moore, who just uh, left uh, for uh, his work on the uh, committee. But uh, here's the issue, Mr. Speaker. This Congress that we're all a part of has not enhanced Social Security now going on 53 years. So it was 1971 was the last time the United States Congress, which has the responsibility, enhanced Social Security for any of its recipients. 10,000 baby boomers a day become eligible for Social Security. And since 1971, Congress has not taken any action. I'm joined by my colleagues Today, all Americans, Social Security is the only pension that they have. And Congress hasn't acted in more than 53 years. We need to enhance the program. We need to enhance it in a way that makes sure that everyone gets an across-the-board increase, but especially 
for five million of our fellow Americans, mostly women, who get below poverty level checks from the government of the wealthiest nation in the world because Congress has not taken the time or the effort. And who are these people? They're your brothers, they're your sisters, their aunts, your uncles, your neighbors, the people you go to church with. And where does this money go? Right back into every single member's district. Mr. Moore in Utah has 110,000 Social Security recipients in his district. Every single member of Congress is getting a card that tells them how many recipients they have in their district, what they receive, whether they're dependents, spouses, or disability. That's what we're focused on. We want a vote, Mr. Speaker, because the American people demand it. That's why I'm joined here for this special hour on this floor by so many of our colleagues. There's so many of us that we hope everyone will recognize their time and consideration for their colleagues, but also would we'll just point out the more than 350 groups across the nation that support Social Security 2100, including the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, Social Security Works, the NAACP, the AFL-CIO, Paralyzed Veterans of America, the National Education Association, and I could go on. We're not here just to extend the solvency of Social Security. We have a plan, a plan that the President of the United States supports that's fully paid for. It's paid for by having people, you ready for this, who are making over $400,000. Raise your hand in the gallery if you're making more than $400,000. People who are making more than $400,000, that's about six-tenths of one percent of the American people, and yet just in doing that, we will both extend the insolvency and enhance the program that's fully paid for and make sure the trust fund stays intact. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts. It sure would be nice to give an increase to those that have been paying into this their entire lives that depend on these fixed income benefits, including Social Security Retirement, SSI, SSDI, all of the benefits covered by the Social Security Administration. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And take a look. Representative Larson presented the Social Security 2100 Act, and here are the line items of the ways that they want to increase the benefits for recipients. Increase to benefits 2% across the board for Social Security beneficiaries for the first time in 52 years. Improve the cost of living adjustment, or the COLA, so it reflects the inflation actually experienced by seniors, and many are saying that this is a major issue as these increases. We just received, I think it was a 3.2%, if I remember correctly. They're saying that is nowhere near enough with the way that inflation is increasing across the board. Increase benefits to boost lower income seniors. Improve benefits for widows and widowers from two income households. Restore student benefits up to age 26 for the dependent children of disabled, deceased, or retired workers. Increases assessed to benefits for children living with grandparents or other relatives. Repeals the withdrawal elimination provision or the WEP or the government pension offset or the GPO that currently penalizes many public servants. Ends the five-month waiting period to receive disability benefits, increases benefits by an additional 5% for most elderly who have been receiving benefits for 15 years or more, provides caregiver credits to ensure that people, mostly women, are not penalized in retirement for taking time out of the workforce to care for children or other dependents ends the disability benefit cliff, replacing it with a gradual offset for earnings, cuts taxes for middle-income beneficiaries, and that is a big one right now that is hitting with all of these increases, corrects an unintended flaw in how Social Security benefits are wage indexed to prevent benefits from dropping a notch if the wage index decreases, ensures that these benefits do not result in reduced supplemental security income or SSI payments or a loss of eligibility for Medicaid or CHIP, combines the old age and survivors insurance or the OASI and the disability insurance the DI trust funds into one fund to ensure seamless benefit payments and this is all from the Social Security 2100 Act that 2100 standing for they want to provide additional funding so they can extend the solvency of the program out to the year 
2100. So these are the benefits that would increase Social Security in the 2100 Act, and John Larson is at it again. Now, I'll keep you up to date as more information rolls out on that, and in addition to that, let me know how the weather is in your neck of the woods, as right now, all across the United States, it is pretty much freezing in the majority of the nation. And here in Houston, Texas, we're not quite at freezing, but we will hit it tonight. And our power went out this morning, but we are okay. But a lot of people are preparing for some major cold this week as well. Now, to see the latest on what's going on right now, be sure to check out this video right here next. We are in for a couple of days of some seriously cold weather, so please be sure to stay warm. And as information comes out, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.